Hey guys, so for this video here, I'm going to show you how to gently pursue and train to hold your baby collared lizards. As you can see, I'm going back and forth. I'm using a scoop technique, not grabbing these guys. I got it right there. Again, they'll jump off, but pretty much you do a slow and steady approach, not trying to scare them too much as they will be afraid of your hands, but generally using the scoop to get them. I'll be chasing them around here in this video, trying to get them. I'm going to go over here to actually pick them up, but then you'll see once I actually get him into my palm, I'll bring him over and show you guys, but it's more about slow and steady approach, being slow and allowing them to be comfortable. As you can see, now it's just sitting in my hand. This is early in the morning, so the goal is to try and have them associate your hand with warmth and then to be comfortable not being grabbed or attacked but scooped up just so they can sit in your hand. And I'll show you a little bit more description and other things later and a four step process of what to do. After a while the little guy will even fall asleep in my hand to where I can have one finger underneath him and he'll just sit and stay in my hand. It's pretty cool after a short few days of working with them how well they can actually start initiating being loved to be held again this is early in the morning he's just woken up so any sort of heat associated with my hand sometimes i'll actually pick him up and hold him under his little basking light but this is a great way to be able to hold these guys and eventually as you see my older guys they just pancake out in my hand all the time and some even love to be carried around the room for hours so this is a great way especially if you just start out with one little guy just starting to train them and they'll love to be held not only can you handle collared lizards, but you can also handle some close relatives. This is a juvenile male leopard lizard that I also produced here. He's already used to me. I can actually walk him around all over the place, and he loves to be handled. He still looks out and explores, and I don't trust him 100%, but he's already, as you can see, even a few weeks in, they get very comfortable with working with you and with being handled to where... I don't have to control him at all and he just sits in my hand and watches where I go. So again, collared lizards and even close cousins like this leopard lizard here, as you can see, are great at handling and they actually love it and they love the snacks that I offer. But this again is a cool leopard lizard, a close cousin of collared lizards that I also breed here at Colorful Collared Lizard Ranch. And here I have step one of the process of handling your collar lizards. This is the scoop technique. As you can see, you slowly approach the collar lizard. Maybe apprehensive at first, but just gently scoop them up. 
guide them into your hand and hold them. And a lot of times, what I just showed earlier, training them just to sit in your hand is very key. And then you can start the next step. Right here, step two is a slow and steady removal from the closure. You don't want to jerk your hand or pull it fast. Again, the slow scooping of the collared lizard followed by a nice slow and steady approach out of the tank. This way they don't get scared and they feel comfortable coming out into your hand outside. They may walk around just a little bit, may f lose balance, but again, a slow and steady approach out of the enclosure allows them to be able to enjoy being held outside of the tank. Step three in the process is positive reinforcement. Now I like to generally pet or give them a snack like a mealworm or superworm. While I'm holding them, here you can see I'm petting one of the female aqua flames as she likes it. You can give them little scratches, but again, they will love to take some superworms from you and this gives them more of a positive, again, reinforcement while you're holding them so they enjoy it better. And finally, step four, another slow and steady placement now back into the enclosure. I normally like to use my other hand for this process, but while filming and using that hand, I kind of had to use slight to assist. But again, slowly lowering the collar lizard in, letting it see that it is going into its closure. It might get scared a little bit, but then it'll realize, okay, this is home and gently walk in. Again, trying to place them comfortably in here is very key and ideal. Don't throw them in and don't drop them. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And here are some pictures of trained collar lizards that I have and you can truly see how comfortable they are here.